So I'm gonna be moving back into my van. I'm finishing a very long work contract. I'm giving up this apartment that I never talked about because I haven't made any videos. Turns out it was an awful mistake. The apartment was infested with cockroaches. Clearly they're still living behind my stove. Oh, die, die, die. And bed bugs. My friend is a bed bug. I don't want an apartment anymore. This whole bed bug thing has just been a shite, man. I'm giving up all of this cockroach infested apartment with bed bugs. Ew. Disgusting. Lost that round jerk. <sighs> I just killed you. Stop moving. They just don't effing die. I think this is all feces. That's disgusting. When you're working 14 to 16 hours a day, a good night's rest is incredibly important. Turns out I didn't get that much sleep. You will die. Come on, buddy. Get down there. Come on. Ew. Flushing a cockroach down the toilet will not kill it. The building manager responded quickly, and she was gonna send an exterminator. I quickly prepped, removing everything from the cupboards and away from the walls. So now my apartment with completely empty cupboards looks like this. Which makes me glad that I've been doing van life because I don't have that much stuff. Oh, and a closet full of stuff, yeah. I also have new bites. These are the old ones. These are the new ones. And I've got one on my foot. Bed bugs. Bed bugs. Ugh. I noticed my bed bug bites were getting worse and more frequent. I checked all cracks and crevices in my pillows and sheets to see if I could find any hard evidence. Meanwhile, the traps were starting to catch cockroaches, and I saw their numbers declining. They put the gel bait and then they put the sticky catch masters in there. Now this is gonna attract all the cockroaches, but hopefully they eat it and just die. Okay. <sighs> Shoot. Friggin' bed bugs. So I'll rub peppermint oil on my legs. Cause they hate it. And I have this lavender and vanilla room and linen spray. Go away bugs. Crap. Oh no. That, my friend, is a bed bug. The bed bug was just crawling down the pillow on its way to frickin' feed on me. I'm gonna have nightmares now. Now I'm scared there's gonna be more. I told my landlady about the bed bugs. Meanwhile, the cockroach traps were sort of working. Oh, gross. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, don't. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm putting this back. Okay. It wasn't quite a victory yet. We just needed a couple more treatments. Suicide. Oh. I see you. You under there. I can see you. Oh my god. Die, 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 die. Clearly they're still living behind my stove down there somewhere because I keep finding them. They're back there and I'm terrified to move the stove to see what's behind. But that one guy seemed a bit sick, so I think he's eating the poison that um, they've applied right there. Looks like earwax or something. I think the bug treatment is working. I just can't wait for the day where I see none, but it's pretty good. I've only seen two in the last 24 hours. Dang it, I got bit by another one. Dang it. Oh, they're so gross. I don't want to go to sleep. I'm traumatized. I think I just want to sleep in my van from now on. Okay. 
I'm in my van. Clear the bed. Thank goodness for my van. It's a bit of a mess, but it's okay. Van. It's quite warm, actually. I think I'll be good. Oh man, am I grateful I have this. I'm so grateful for this van. I don't want an apartment anymore. I really don't. This whole bed bug thing has just been a shite, man. <sighs> Good night. Go to sleep. It was time to prep for the bed bug exterminators and another round for the cockroaches. quite embarrassed because when I moved into this apartment knowing very well that I want to be a full-time van lifer I still went out and I bought some stuff at Ikea I bought some trendy colored throw you know little pillows I mean they're just pillows like most people have more stuff than I ever would even consider ever buying but like <laughs> it's just stuff there's nothing wrong with beautifying your space, but I just knew I was being dumb because because I know I'm not gonna live here <laughs> like long term. Especially with this situation, for sure it's just gonna be a non-stop battle of bed bugs and cockroaches. I love this building and the people that live here and the sense of community, but also at the same time, I, they're just treating room by room. They're not treating the entire building. So anyways, I digress. I bought this stuff and I regret it. And now I don't wanna deal with it. I don't wanna have to like worry about bed bugs getting in there and I don't want to give it away. I don't want to take it to Goodwill because it could be contaminated with bed bug eggs. That's the thing, I don't want to deal with it. So now I'm going to throw it all out. There is so much traffic noise right now. But yeah, I feel dumb. This is like one of my, it's just such a waste of money to buy stuff. You can lose your stuff at any instant in time. You can lose everything. And this just solidifies my belief that stuff is just stuff and who cares it's important to have a livable comfortable space to clear your head I just don't go overboard you don't really need to this money could have been invested in something you know saved for something else it's just such a waste I have this thing with stuff I hate stuff I think stuff is such a burden I just hate dealing with it because it's just so much work to have a stuff you know, I've lived so many places. I've moved once a year. Since I was like 12 to 14, I've been moving and realizing that stuff is just a burden. It just, it kills me that I spent money on, on stuff like this. I don't, I'm too hard on myself, I know that, but it's something I'm kind of obsessed with. This kills me. I'm just gonna consider this a life lesson and never buy anything I don't need ever again. I washed and heat treated my clothes and bedding multiple times. Put stuff so this is where it is. Cupboards are all empty. It's everything. Super tired. I'm gonna go to bed and then I'm gonna wake up and get ready to leave for four to six or more hours. Good night. Hopefully I don't transfer any bugs to my van. Hopefully nothing jumped 
into my shorts. All right, see you guys. So I'm back home and it looks like they've treated four of the bed bugs. They've also treated again for cockroaches. And when I got home, there were a bunch of cockroaches running around still. I think they're just like a little bit mobilized, but I think they're all gonna die soon. Things are very hopeful. I cleaned like a mad woman. The number one tip I have for getting rid of bed bugs is do not panic. Everything will be fine. And it was fine. Eventually I got rid of all of them and the cockroaches, and I had a cozy apartment again. That is, until I moved back into the van. This should be super interesting.